it's me, Kelly. I was in Alaska for so long, I almost forgot what this place looked like. It's been so good to be home. Anyways, we're officially in our second week of our new series, All About Wisdom. Last week, we learned that wisdom is taking what you know and applying it to your life. And to take things one step further, godly wisdom is taking what you know from the Bible and obeying it. Vera, come on, the board game's ready. I am going, Danny. I was just getting all the s'more stuff ready. Sweet. Did you say s'mores? You're having s'mores? Yeah, we planned this, Melissa, remember? Not really. Yeah, we're playing board games and making s'mores just like in Camp Makawale. Oh, 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 Danny, Danny, it's Camp Make a Wave, and please, that dance, enough. Well, I didn't remember, and I made plans. I'm gonna go shopping for new books with my friend. It's gonna be so fun. Oh, but... that does sound like fun. Yeah, but, um. You can always join us next time. Yeah. Guess. All right, let's start playing, ready? I'm gonna be yellow. I'll just be on my way. Bye. Okay. Bye. Have fun. Oh, three. Go ahead. Go okay. I mean, on second thought, you know, I could call and call my friend and cancel the plans. And it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it was just shopping. She won't mind. So I can have s'mores because I really want s'mores now. Okay, I'm gonna do that. You convinced me. I'm gonna call her. See ya. When Jesus was here on earth, he searched for wisdom even as a child. In fact, we learned last week he spent his time in the temple learning and discussing the word of God. That's an example for us as well. We should study God's word because wisdom is worth searching for. All right, you know, I don't know if I would choose s'mores over shopping with my friend. Yeah, I don't know if I would either. I think I would be really mad if my friends canceled on my plans for yeah. the last minute. I mean, it's not like the car broke down or something happened, like an emergency. Guess what? Great hey, news! I'm here. I know you guys were super worried about it, but don't worry because my friend said that we can totally go shopping this evening. So I get to have s'mores, play games, and shop. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad to know that your friend is super, super understanding about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, done. Right. Should, should we dig in? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. It smells so good. Okay. There's more, right? Um, I, more. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at it. <laughs> so good. The thing with wisdom is sometimes we don't really realize when we need it. Sometimes situations just creep up on us. For example, you might choose to sit next to a certain friend at school, even though you know that friend loves to talk during class. It's not the wise thing to do, but you do it anyways, and you don't realize your mistake until you get into trouble. You might get mad at your friend, but aren't you to blame also? Cheating. You're cheating? Yes. Definitely. <gasps> Why would you accuse me of cheating? Because there's no way that you've won the last five rounds without cheating. Exactly. You guys are just mad. I am an expert trouble player. I should... <laughs> You're I'm an great. expert trouble maker. No, I'm a pro. <laughs> there's it's a like skill. There's a difference. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I'm surprised he doesn't have a plaque here that says expert at trouble or cheating. I should oh. have a plaque. Yeah. Another one. Oh, are you admitting to your cheating now? No. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't have another plaque. Oh, he just admitted. Oh, um, well, I think I have time for one more round, but then I probably have to get going. I'm yeah. trying to go shopping, remember? Yeah, oh, the, that's right. I have forgotten have already. Okay, but one more round. Okay, one more time. Okay. All right. I'm definitely winning. Uh, the winner gets the last more. Oh. Ooh. Bet. We're good. We'll share. Yeah. Being wise starts with you. Before you can teach anyone anything, you have to make sure you have learned the lesson yourself. So, in the example with the talkative friend, before you get mad at them, you should think about what you did wrong. Realize if that if you made a better choice on who you sit next to, you would have never gotten into trouble. It's important that we take the time to examine ourselves so that we can love others the way God wants us to and so we can continue growing in wisdom. Ha! 
One again. I, My s'more. Unbelievable. Believe it. Hello? What? Are you serious right now? <gasps> that, no, that is so inconsiderate. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, mm, mm, uh, bye. <sighs> you okay? What happened? I, can you believe her? B believe who? What yeah. happened? What? She had the audacity to cancel on me. Your friend couldn't go to the bookstore? No, she apparently has a test that's coming up and she really has to study for it and she forgot, like really? Okay, okay, well, hold on, Melissa. It happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's rude and she should think about that before she just cancels on people. I mean, does she even think about how badly I wanted to go to the bookstore? Melissa, Melissa, you did the same exact thing. <laughs> No, I didn't. I don't have a big test. I'm not even in school. Melissa, you literally just canceled with your friend over board games and s'mores. Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, that was different. Mm, sure. In one of Jesus' most famous teaching, he said that we shouldn't judge other people. When we judge others without first looking at ourselves, we miss out on the work God is doing in us to shape us and help us grow. Here's what he said. Do not judge other people then you will not be judged. You'll be judged in the same way you judge others. You'll be measured in the same way you measure others. You look at the bit of sawdust in your friend's eye, but you pay no attention to the piece of wood in your own eye. How can you say to your friend, let me take out the bit of sawdust out of your eye? How can you say this while there is a piece of wood in your own eye? You pretender. First, take out the piece of wood out of your own eye then you will be able to see clearly to take out the bit of sawdust out of your friend's eye. Basically, this verse is saying that we shouldn't judge others for the wrong things they do because we do wrong things all the time. We should focus on how to obey God instead of on how others don't. It takes a lot of wisdom and a lot of practice to examine yourself, but it's what we need to do. When you see yourself clearly, you can make the wise choice. I mean, Melissa, seriously, are you, are you really mad right now? Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh. you canceled on your friend like three hours ago, and now you're mad because she canceled on you? It's ridiculous. Uh, but I had a good reason. And so did she. Well, but my reason was better. Oh my gosh. Melissa, your reason is terrible. Yeah. Come on. Uh, you ditched on your friend over some s'mores. Come on. And board games. You forgot about the games. Melissa. Okay. I guess when I say it out loud, she was gonna go study for school, which is important. And I kind of canceled on her for something silly. And mm -hmm. it was perfectly fine when I did it. Yep. And I'm a really bad friend. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I should probably call and apologize. Oh, oh, and you should Absolutely. buy her a book. Yeah, get her yes. a gift. I like yeah. I like that. That that's a good idea. Oh, guys, thanks for reminding me. Um, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. You want to play again? Oh, I actually have to study. Oh. <laughs> make some s'mores. <laughs> yes, I please know. make more, more s'mores. We're running Danny, low. Danny, you've had seven of them. There, I've won seven times. CF Kids, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all remember the importance of not judging others, but instead helping each other with kindness and understanding as we all make mistakes. Learning to be wise is a journey, but if we take these lessons and use them every day, we will definitely get better and better at being wise. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Hey CF Kids, how are you doing with your challenge cards? Do you still remember what you need to do? Well, here it is. Watch all four episodes of the August series, learn your memory verse, invite a friend to church, and complete the bonus challenge, which is back to school prayer by praying for your school and teacher and principal and everything else school related. If you complete six out of these seven challenges, you will earn a special prize at the end of the month. So be wise and get it done.